Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning how to create databases and tables. We're going to learn about the uh, creating, specifically creating a database using the create, what's called the create database command. Um, and as we learned in a previous lesson, the MySQL um, server, the way it's set up is it contains a number of different databases, each of which can contain a number of different tables. So we're going to learn how to actually create a database for our uh, store web application. We're going to learn about the create table command, which as the name implies, allows you to create a table uh, within a particular database on the MySQL server. We're going to learn about um, a little more detail about SQL data types, which are uh, data types for the columns in a table that we'll be creating. As we learned before, um, in relational databases, data is, is organized in rows and columns, and for each particular column, you have you can have data values, and they uh, must correspond to a particular data type. We're going to talk about something called column attributes, which basically, in addition to providing a data type for a particular column uh, in a table that we're creating, we can also specify some some particular features of that column. We're going to learn how to create the uh, the command used to create the items table in our database, which we're going to be using for our web store application to hold all the information about the items in our store. We're going to go over a couple useful commands uh, that can help you to find out about the structure of your database and the structure of tables that you've created. And then we're going to go over another um, required homework that you're going to need to do to basically populate, or excuse me, to set up um, this, items, uh, this items table uh, that, so that we can connect to it from our web application. Uh, so basically, a database is created in um, MySQL or an SQL using the create database SQL command. It simply is create database followed by the name of the database that you want to create as a parameter. It's a very simple command. Um, and then uh, MySQL also provides a couple of non SQL commands that allow you to basically provide some information about um, the MySQL server. When you log into the MySQL server, you can type, for example, show databases. And that's going to list all of the databases that currently exist on that MySQL server that your user has access to. Um, and that's a, a sort of a privilege thing. Now, we're going to be connecting in this, in this course and in this, or in this lesson and all of the other lessons um, as the PHP user, uh, as PHP user, which is the account we created in the last lesson. Um, and because they have all privileges, we're going to be able to see all the tables, or excuse me, we're going to be able to see all the databases uh, within the particular MySQL server we're connecting to. There's also the use command that you can issue that basically says, um, you type that in at the MySQL uh, command prompt that says use, and you specify the name of a particular database that you want to use. Basically what that does is that tells the MySQL monitor that any future commands you issue are basically going to be issued on that particular database. For example, if you're inserting data into a database, um, you won't actually have to specify the name of the uh, as as we'll learn in, when we learn about insert statements, you won't have to specify both the name of the database and the table you want to insert data to, you'll just be able to specify the name of the table because use is already going to let MySQL know you're using a particular database. So what we're going to do is actually create um, our database that we're going to use for our uh, web application, our web store. Uh, we're going to call the database, the database is going to be called advanced underscore PHP. And so what, what I'm going to do is uh, bring up the, uh, start the MySQL monitor program, which we learned about. And the way you do that, again, is by uh, loading the Windows, or opening the Windows command prompt, and then using the cd command to change to the directory uh, where that mysql.exe file is located, which is the MySQL monitor client program. And then uh, we're going to connect as this PHP user that we've uh, PHP user account we've created. So we type MySQL. Uh, we don't need to specify the host name because it's we're going to uh, default to the local host. We're <clears throat> going to be connecting to the MySQL server on the local host. We're going to be logging in as user PHP user, and we're going to ask it to request us uh, to prompt us for a password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the password that we had set up last time. For this course, we, this example, we'd set up as educator as the password. So now we can see that we've got our MySQL prompt and shows that we've been able to successfully log in. So the first thing I'm going to do is run the, that show databases command that I told you about. And what that's going to do is basically list all of the different databases that are available in the MySQL, or in, on this current MySQL server. We can see there's actually a number of different databases, even though we haven't actually created anything. Um, the XAMPP 
first of all, the, the MySQL um, database itself comes with, comes with its own tables, or own databases already built. For example, the, um, the MySQL database. Um, and then XAMPP does some other things to set up some other databases. Uh, for example, some example databases. There's a test database and so forth. So those are the databases that are currently uh, on the server. Now we're going to create our advanced PHP database. We type create database, the name that we want to give to it, which is advanced.php, followed by a semicolon and hit enter. It's going to say query OK, let us know that um, uh, the command was successfully run. And then um, one thing you can do actually is, is uh, you can use the up and down arrow keys on your, when you're on the MySQL prompt, and it's going to let you scroll through previously entered commands, um, which can save you some typing. So because we typed show database as our last command, if I hit the up arrow once, it's going to go ahead and populate the command prompt with show databases. So now when I enter it, oops, it looks like I made a typo. Typed a three by accident. Show databases. We can see all of the databases that we had before, but now we also can see our um, advanced PHP database. So now um, any of the future commands that we're going to be using, we want to operate on this, this advanced PHP database. So we're going to type use advanced PHP, and that's going to allow us basically tell this monitor uh, client that we're going to be using this database because we're in a second we're going to be creating a table in this particular database. So it's just going to let you know that the database has changed. You're currently using advanced PHP.